but we have not had a spirit sword run in god knows how long okay we have a spin down dice claw machine here another twisted pair we only swing once thus we, we have we have five spirits so that's pretty damn good Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be our final or one of our final Mastema runs for win number one on episode number 284 I believe somewhere in that range. Anyways guys your question for today is going to be put your answer in the comments down below. What is the most amount of money you would pay to see your favorite band in concert? Without further ado let's get started. Your seed is going to be WWN9KQPL. We're going to be going to either Mother or I think Beast on this run. Why don't we try going to Beast? A lot of W's in our seed today. Uh, Mastema is a very like good character. And I'm hoping because we've had a lot of bad luck uh, in recent times. A rock right here, excuse me. Uh, in recent times on the streak. That we'll actually have a decent run going today. I, you know, I, I could be wrong, but... If oh that's a really good first room drop. If God can grace me with his goddamn presence today, I would be much appreciated. We've had we've had a lot of bad runs recently. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. They've been my fault, kind of. That that one Andromeda run was not my fault at all. Losing my my only item giving item and only having four items on our final floor of the run that that was kind of bullshit. But we almost lived that run as well. We almost actually won that. And yesterday's run was also kind of my fault. I took a lot of dumb damage against Hush and, and previous rooms. Like that, but you know, the bygones are bygones, things go on. I want to have some good DPS, I want to have some good uh, utility items, I just want to have a good run. That's all I ask for today a good run. But yeah, I guess for my answer for today's uh, question of the day, so I recently did see my favorite band of all time live in concert just a few days ago, actually, I think two days uh, to the day today, uh, and I had a fucking fantastic time. Those of you who are older uh, streak viewers may recall when I was kind of like shit talking concerts and I was like, I don't know. I don't think I'm a concert person. I don't like going out and having that kind of like social interaction. They're always like really stuffy and close together. And for a while, I was a, an, an anti concert person. I would go whenever I could, but I wouldn't really always enjoy myself. However, this is the first concert I've gone to where I've like had pretty much zero complaints. I mean, there was. Everything that happened at that concert was was perfect. I mean the songs they played the the presentation the set design everything there like it blew me out of the water and uh, I would oh what is happening? Oh the spiders. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna pay for hushy doesn't really seem like it's gonna be uh, super influential on this run I'd rather save the HP for better situations our shop though to believe you do get member card don't you usually have a member card trapdoor as this character? Or is that the other character? Painted Mastema. I thought you got a little trapdoor. I might just be misremembering that. That's my bad, I guess. But uh, the band in question, by the way, is a band called Car Seat Headrest, and it was a fantastic show. Now, the weird thing is, is that, like, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan. Like, I've... Why are we getting so many Eternal Hearts? Holy shit. Um... I know every song of theirs by heart. I've heard every album released and unreleased. Like, I'm, I'm a super fan. And the weird thing is, I enjoyed this concert so much, but all the songs that they played were not my favorite versions of the songs. Like, I, I've heard, you know, I either like the studio version more or the past albums, your past live albums versions more. And it's weird that I can enjoy a concert that much but really not care for the unique versions of the songs that much. I'm not complaining, by the way. I really did enjoy the concert to an insane degree, and it might just be recency bias, but I think that might be my favorite live show ever. I mean, everything there was just like... When the set design and the lights all turned on, I mean, I everyone fucking gasped. It was such a beautiful set. So I, I might throw a picture up or a video up right now in the editing software, but um, there was like... It was a very small stage, and they had the guitarist, bassist, singer, drummer, and uh, keyboard player uh, all pretty much, like, scrunched together. But the backdrop of this set was a grid of, like, lights. It was, I think it was, like, a, it may have been, like, a 7 by, like, 5 grid of lights, and they would, like, blink at different colors, and they get, you know, to the BPM of the song and things like that. And holy shit, did it look, like, astounding. I mean... It, it blew me away. Even my girlfriend, who's not, who doesn't really like Car Seat that much, was like, that was one of the coolest fucking shows I've ever seen in my entire life. And the lead singer is so awkward and so, like, 
I guess, I don't want to say socially inept, but like he is very goofy and he pretty much stood in one place the entire show. You'd think to yourself that would kind of make the show a little bit less engaging or interesting, but him not moving added so much presence to the actual performance that it was almost like a, how do I not sound pretentious when saying this? It was almost like a, a surreal, uh, opening song they played because the lead singer was just standing there as all of these green lights flashed behind them and didn't move and it, it, it was just incredible like I, I have never been happier seeing a song played live like that and I've seen almost all of my favorite bands before live I've seen Car Seat Now, I saw Queen Live, I saw Remo Drive, I've seen Mayday Parade, I saw a hundred fucking Gex and a hundred Gex I'm sorry they don't compare to this Car Seat show and I think that part of the reason I enjoyed the show so much is that I wasn't down in the pit being like pushed by 30, you know, 28 year olds who have like hippie beards. I was just sitting, I was sitting on the balcony, like on one of the tables, kind of had my feet over the edge, just kind of vibing. And that's the kind of shows that I like to go to. Definitely Angel here. We have not had a spirit, this is really bad for Beast, but we have not had a spirit sword run in god knows how long let's have some fun with today's run shall we but i i was just chilling on the balcony uh like hanging over the edge just enjoying myself i think the reason i didn't like the 100 gex show that much is because not only was the set kind of disappointing they played uh pretty much only new stuff i'll go big brimstone pyro i'll go both actually we, we can go big right now they played mostly new stuff but their set was barely even like half an hour long which is very Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But yeah, as I was saying, the, the Gex show was great. And I, I love 100 Gex. They are one of my, my all-time favorite bands, like, right now. But the show was sound-wise really good. But the just presentation and the length of their set... Can I even, like, hit these guys? I can I can kind of hit these guys if I just focus my blade. There we go. Perfect. Um, The set was just, like, way too short for me to really get into the show. By the time they actually got done playing, I was just barely getting hyped up for their next song. And it was just kind of a, a very, like, sad moment, I guess, to me. But, like, the car seat show did not last for too long. Can I... Can, this is the worst, dude. The car seat show didn't last for too long or too short. It was the perfect length. Can I grab this? I don't think I can... I'll, I'll probably... Can I maybe get it like this? Yo... Actually, Reverse or Foiled Lovers is very good, right? Yeah, it spawns a bunch of different heart types. I'm going to save that when we have red heart containers again. But I I was just like... I mean, I think it is because Car Seat is like my number one band of all time. But also, it, it genuinely was just an incredible show. And it looked visually stunning. It, it sounded great. And they knew how to please a crowd. Like, they didn't just play all of their new songs or their old songs or anything like that. They played enough old stuff to give the, the, you know, I guess, like, longer running fans, oh, that was a dumb bomb placement, uh, the, the longer time fans, like, a treat, but also played a lot of the new stuff to give the more casual fans, like, uh, you know, a reason to still want to be at the show, which was perfect. I mean, they opened up with one of my favorite songs that, if you would have told me they're going to play Crows at a show, I would have laughed in your face, because Crows is a song from 2013 that... I don't think they've played live since like 2013 and they opened with that song and I was like holy shit they're playing a song from 2013 off my favorite album that I was like almost certain they wouldn't play any songs off of it was just amazing like I, I'm still like kind of oh my god Mr. Leech is here hello I'm still kind of giddy from that show because it was just like perfect oh we, we have a key right okay we're gonna go for I think at least one We'll go to our angel deal first. I'd rather have the angel pool with a, with a container than anything else. I This is why I don't like Spirit Sword. Because you get rooms like this where you pretty much like can't do anything. We gotta time the room out, don't we? This is the problem with, with modded Isaac room design. They don't take an account for builds that are like melee based with like zero range. I can, quite frankly... I can't hit these guys. I, I have no way to hit them. You know what, dude? You know what? Debug 10. I'm not playing your fucking game right now. Goodbye. You gotta make your rooms fit for every build. It's, it's why modern room design can be a bit frustrating sometimes. That is an amazing thing to see, and I'll buy that. We still need to get back uh, one heart container at least for our angel deal. 
We could become the... Oh, wait. Can we steal items? Hold on. I, this is, I can't see my HP, so it's kind of dangerous. But, like... Are we able to get... I think we got a free item right there. I don't know what that does, but I, I think we just got a free item. That's very good for us. And I guess I'll touch the fire again to become the lost, and then we will go and fight our boss. Because if we do get like a devil deal or an angel deal, I'd rather have the item for free. The strategy as Mastema is to always go alt path. They have a double item choice, and because I think you get a good chance to just like get a second item because they won't, if they're not on a pedestal, they won't disappear. So if you're constantly going, that's fine too. Alt path, you should be able to uh, get a lot of items, more than you'd usually have. Only a 9.4 luck up from that. I wonder why. I think the item we got in our devil room this floor, that's pretty good. Um, Gave us a weird luck multiplier going on. Either way, I think it's safe to just go to your mines and move on down. I'd rather be fighting Beast than Mother with Spirit Sword. And we do already find our item room here. What's inside of this? Yeah, I'm gonna probably skip on both of these right now. I do like getting conjoined, but one hard devil deals can either be like, that was a pretty good item, or it could be just like, that was, you know, not worth a whole heart container. That is, well, we'll give it an honest to God shot here. You know, we got a spirit heart. I'm not that mad. As long as we keep our HP high in this room and we gain a heart there, I'm pretty excited about that. And our shop is going to give us on this floor test tube. I I don't care for test tube that much. It gives you mini Isaacs every like four rooms, but I mean, I think it's like it's not worth it. We don't need mini. I, I know it's an active item, but like we don't need mini Isaacs right now. Our, our build is actually quite strong. Spirit Sword of even just like 2 damage is usually insanely good. This is a really awkward room, isn't it? I, we, can, we can probably get some early... Yeah, there we go. Like, kills before the guy breaks it, but we should be okay. Wonderful. Uh, you know what, dude? I think you grab this. I think you do a full clear before you fight your boss. There could be a battery hiding in here. There could be a cursed room, too. This is a fun little... I, li I like this design right here. This is a good modded room design. It's actually quite fun. Now, the issue here is I can barely hit... Uh-oh. That's not very good, is it? Wait, wait, hold on. We still can't hit you? Get bombed. Get bombed, son. That was wonderful. We get a foiled emperor card. It's stats for the boss room. Uh, I can just, like, teleport there myself, so I'm not going to worry about that. The lover's card is going to be so much better for us. And it's Hornfell with the fancy boss doors. This should be a very quick fight. Yeah, goodbye. That was, that was honestly really, really good for us. We get a couple extra bombs and... Wow, no deal, really, no deal. Uh, it's a shame, but we can live without that. Let's head on down once more. But yeah, once again, like, I I have at least a decent amount of fun at concerts, but it, it's more for me to trade off, right? It, like, it, is it really worth it for me to drive, you know, to the nearest big city, get into a room with a bunch of, of sweaty, like, you know, hippies, and judging by my, my music taste, by the way, I'm going to be at a hippie show no matter what, like, sit with a bunch of hippies or stand around with a bunch of hippies for... An hour before a show starts, uh, listen to an opening band that I don't really care that much for, and then get pushed and shoved and have my foot stepped on constantly. Like, it, that, that whole trade-off there usually is not worth the risk. Now, here's the thing, is I've gone to a lot of smaller shows in my day. Uh, a lot of my friends were in bands in high school that I could go see at, like, very, and I'm talking, like, very small, like, 20 people venues. Like, those shows, oh, baby, we're gonna go... If yeah, we can grab both, okay, good. That range is so nice for us, too. We're gonna come back for you when the floor is over. Don't forget where that room is. Oh, great. Um, but, I, like, I, oh, we have Pyromaniac. That's right, dude. Um, like, I'm talking, like, 20 people shows, and those have always been my favorite because you're not getting, you know, shoved or you're not getting, like, pushed around constantly. And I think the reason I didn't like the Mayday Parade show or the Gek show to an insane degree is just because, watch out, um, I really don't, how do you line up? Are you, are you off your sink? There we go. Um, I really don't like the, um, the atmosphere of, of being crowded like that. Now, because the car seat show, I was on the balcony just kind of sitting up there the entire time. 
I had a good time. I'm not there for like the hardcore experience. I'm there just to hear the live music and appreciate my favorite bands like music. That's pretty much it. I don't really care for the experience of being in a mosh pit and shit like that. I've been in a couple and they were fun, but it, it's just, it's not my thing. Another one of these rooms, huh? I think my sword just deals more than those bombs do, so we're gonna do that. But I just, I don't really care for the, the mosh pit or the heavy experience there, which I, I think, you know, it's to each their own. You may really enjoy that part of the show, and I know that a lot of the artists enjoy when fans are moshing to their music, but it's just, it's not for me. Uh, I don't like that kind of, of contact. But let's go to our fight. Okay, uh, it's a good fight that Pyromaniac, Dirk, so we can just do that. Oh, well, or get hit and just lose HP, that's fine too. You just take it and you stand right next to them. It, it's honestly, it's a wonderful fight. Why? Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. I'm actually being a dumbass right now and losing more than it's worth. That's how it's done. We get a bone heart here. Very, very nice. I'm going to bomb the tinted rock as well for a tinted spider. Thank you. And we get a damage up. Because we're going to grab Abaddon anyways, I don't mind taking that. So we're going to walk all the way back to our item room. Then just move on down to our depths floor and head on to beast in just a little bit. Is this run beast worthy? Uh, right now, I'm going to say it's not. Right now, the run does not have enough going for it to really have like an easy beast fight. I think it's definitely possible, but we're going to start taking advantage of our secret rooms more to like get a little bit of extra power. We've kind of been lacking in that department recently. I've kind of been sleeping on the secret rooms, and I apologize for that. Where the hell is this thing? I hate this curse so much, but is it right here? It is right here. Good. Applies an old screen shader over the screen. Huh. Oh, hey, buddy. I'll take it. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna kill my bitrate, isn't it? Oh, boy. Um, is this here forever? Is this gonna... Is this gonna just stay here forever? I don't know if I like this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan of this effect. I might just remove the item. It's not fun for a video. Oh, it was called what? The caregiver? Is it a is it a reference to the that one like crazy amnesia album or dementia album? Listen, I'm, I, it's a cool idea for an item, but it, it's not fun for a video. I'm just gonna remove that filter and then we'll move on down and get our first lost soul bonus on the start of our next floor here. But I guess to end off our concert discussion, if I have a place where I can sit down and just enjoy myself and the concert's not going to be a crazy ass like two hour drive through heavy traffic in like Dallas or Houston, I'm going to have a decent time. What are you going to give me here? Godhead? Could have been worse. Could have been way, way worse. I'm going to pop the lover's card just to get extra HP right now as well. We're saving it for what feels like no reason. We're not going to have like a ton of red heart HP on this run ever. And I mean, by the end of the run, sure, with like, you know, going to beast and not having any more deals or item rooms, we might get um, a good amount of red heart HP. But I, I don't really want to bank on just that. Another, we're getting a lot of chess items right now. I'm not going to complain. We need the items. Although a tier up is not really that good for this character. Uh, Spirit Sword is not really get affected by your tier stat in too uh, much of a way. Book of the Dead. Um, You know, like, it, it really could have been worse. I, I think it's actually, oh, well, now we have better books by an immediate default in this room. Maybe Book of Virtues? Okay, Book of Rev is not Book of Virtue. We have a lot of interesting stuff happening here. I think Book of Rev is going to be just straight up better. And I'm going to give the Fool card to you. And then probably also the Hermit card. Or what does the doubled effect do for the, the Hermit? Turns shop into a normal shop if Greed is already... Okay, well, it, it prevents Greed. I'm going to do that right now. Then it's a good uh, thing to have. And it was not that good. Okay. I, I just think that I'd rather have the guaranteed HP than the extra, like, little bit of defense. I know it's a more fun item, Book of the Dead. But to be quite frank with you, it's safer to have this item, especially on a run this shaky going to beast. Do not forget your food card. And a crawl space, huh? Good luck. Is it scrolling? That is a black market. Okay. 
I don't mind Gideon's gaze. It's actually quite good. But we're kind of past the point of having um, grimaces on the run. So I think I'm just going to not do anything here and just leave. Okay, we have a spin down dice claw machine here. I We have to go for it, dude. Oh, we got it already, and we get... I mean, just get everything on the ground here. What is these... What are these spin-down dice into? Holy shit, revelations and magic skin. And what do you go into? Guppy's soul? I like Guppy's soul. It's actually not that bad. Now, what about you? That was a great spawn, by the way. Um. Oh, your revelations. What's Book of Rev? Unicorn Stump X-Ray Goggles? Just pop it and then take the passives. That was really, really good for us. We have a spin down dice run going on and a library, which gives me hope for a, a interesting situation here. Um, we don't need the world card. What was this card? The f keep, you gotta keep the fool, don't forget about that. Now we could spin down dice this room. Don't need the sun card either. We could spin down dice with a battery this room. Don't need this either. And then maybe get, like, we got pointy rib right there. We would get Bogo Bombs. I don't really care about that. And then we'd get a blank card. I don't think I care to do this room that much. We're going to grab this. We'll grab our full card. And what are you? Devil is fine. Wait, we have starter deck. Why can we only hold one card? I'm getting scammed right now, dude. I, I literally have the starter deck and I can only hold one card. I can't even get my freaking thing back. I can't get my, my, uh, what's it called? My prayer card is, uh, there it is. Maybe now we can hold two cards because it's a little bit of a small bug. I think we go to our, this room first, and then hopefully. Ahaha, all right, chariot and up to a wand. We'll take chariot and you give me spiders. Okay. I think we all know what time it is. Why don't we go? Fight our uh, boss right now with the full carb, and it will be time to go and try to fight Beast on this run. We have a good shot, I think. We have a genuinely a good shot. We don't do a lot of dammy for a final boss, but we, we do enough to, I think, warrant at least giving it a college try. At least make up for last run's uh, pretty sad loss. Another deal. Take this. Take this. Angel deal, please. Fuck. That's so bad. <laughs> Uh, you're not even park enjoying, so I'm not going to waste my HP on you. Full card out, and let's head on down. And we do have one final item room we can go into right here and hopefully get some power. What is that? Fly tears. Chance to shoot a homing fly shot? Give me this. We're not getting very good stuff right now. I can go to Sponge, and we can try to get, like, a little bit better after Sponge, but right now, man, I mean, I don't know. I don't see a lot going uh, much better than it is right now for us. Restock is really good to have for the future, and I guess we can just start buffing, because money is useless as his character. We can just start buffing up our familiars, I guess, and go into full blue. That's it. That's all we can do. It's a creepy looking shopkeeper right there. Not a fan of that. Uh, but I think the run is going to hit its maximum power, like right now. And I think we're never going to get stronger than this. Now, with the dogma item, we do gain a little bit extra damage, I believe. But that is going to really not be that um, in great for us. Because we're not really lacking damage. We're lacking, like, cool effects and things like that. Now, this room is interesting. Please don't take that many keys. Oh? Ah, no items. That kind of blows. Give some money to this guy as well. Come on. Ooh, a Joker card is actually so huge. I want to have a positive angel deal chance. So what I'm going to end up doing instead here is going back to our shop and giving money so that we have an increased angel deal chance in the background. We have enough to get an angel deal chance here, hopefully. I think we have one in the backlog there. Just pop it. Ah, uh, ooh. I was sad, but then I wasn't sad. I'm taking this for sure. We have uh, three spirit swords now. That's very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, look at this. 
uh, you don't need the fool card, just grab the sun. And that Joker card may have just, like, inadvertently given us the victory. And we also now have a reverse judgment card on the ground. Ugh, yeah, dude. Um, okay, we want to take the chariot over the sun card right now. What can you do with that? What can you do with the... You need to get money first. So don't forget about getting money. But then after that, where do you want to use this? The only guaranteed item we have left is in the mom's chest. And that could give us mom's knife. Uh, but, like... I want to use it in a more impactful place. But are we going to get enough money to use it on this floor for anything? Is there even anything to use it on on this floor? I guess is my next question. Like a secret room, maybe? 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 Spawn an item. Coward, you are such a fucking coward. Okay, pop that. I mean, the money's nice, but I would have liked to have a pedestal in there. What about, like, a super secret room? Could that be really good for us? Please? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Up it now. Then get the double machines down. Can you turn this sack? Always check your spin downs. Into something a little bit better. Uh, what do you spin down into? Oh! Another twisted pair. I would say that was pretty damn good. Watch this. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. I wanted to get black hearts back, but that we just lost one. Uh, well, now we have five spirit swords. And we're, well, no, we're conjoined, so we actually have, we only swing once, though, so we, we have, we have five spirits, so that's pretty damn good. You should, well, go, go back and grab your chariot card, and I think all you can really choose to do right now is, unless you want to try and go to your trap room, we would have no HP leaving there. You, you know what, dude? Just leave the goddamn floor. We are going to get some Lost Soul drops on the Ascension Path if we can keep Lost Soul alive as well. Which we did last floor, but it's it's going to get a little bit harder and harder each pass. But I think we could use Lost Soul to get some HP back. We haven't been in there yet, or is the map just being freaky on me? Oh, it's just leprosy, right? Um, but if we can play safe enough, I can see us getting a bunch of Lost Soul drops on the Ascension Path. This might be the room that kills them. The ticks are not fun to deal with. So I think, honestly, right now, we have a shot to win. We just need to get the HP back through using... Oh, Prayer Card does not give you... It only gives you... Oh, okay. You're alive, right? You're alive, okay. So Prayer Card doesn't actually give you HP. It just gives you a Soul Heart. But Lost Soul gives us a Swarm Protector, which can drop Eternal Hearts. We could use the Spin Down Dice on the drops as well. Uh, Lost Soul, please. Hold on. I'm going to be extra careful to keep you alive. Hold on. That was beautiful. But it, we just have to make sure we're being cautious. All right, Lost Soul. What are you going to drop for me now? Cube that turns into saucer, which turns into gasoline, then salty soup. I mean, three luck is three luck. You don't really want to turn that down. But, I mean, we're getting some good drops right now. I would say we're getting decent drops right now. We have Double Twisted Pair, we have only four hearts, but we also get the bed on a home, giving us an extra three soul hearts to work with. And I believe Dogma gives you just a little bit more as well. Uh, it's not worth grinding out your prayer card and maybe losing a lost soul drop. Beautiful. Ooh. We're gonna take the correct key as well. Does Inner Child spin down dice into anything interesting? I feel like it might. In my, my mind's eye, I feel like it might spin down dice into something a little bit more interesting than just an extra life. That's a mimic door down there. Which gives us some trinkets. It's just like stat buffs? I mean, why wouldn't you? There's no downside to having that trinket. I'm going to take that for sure. And this had nothing in it, correct? 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think we have this run. That's also quite nice. Uh, in the bag, don't forget you can use cards in your fights for combat. Boss Soul, please. Keep them alive. You can use your, um, like, Devil card and stuff like that on the Beast fight for extra damage as well. Move on up, which will, I guess, make you have an easier time winning? Thank you for that. Extra Red Heart never hurt nobody. But yeah, keep going. Little Chad, who becomes a just better familiar, will take that. Yeah, I don't really want to grind out for Super Bandage right now. I'm fine with just this. Oh, the glitchy monstro. Lost Soul, you've lived through every Ascension floor so far. You only died once on this run, I believe. Come on, come on. If we keep Lost Soul alive all the way to the, the final floor, I'm going to be pretty uh, happy. That's not that good for spin down either. You just keep going, I guess, then. All right, we're finally on to our beast fight here with one final lost soul drop and quite possibly a very interesting spin down dice in our secret room. We can just get double dogma item. Why wouldn't you take... We're gonna have two dogmas and two twisted pairs on this run. What the fuck? That's kind of insane. Uh, I maybe should have saved that in case, like, you know, Inner Child becomes, like, an Arky or some shit. But I would be a fool to pat... Nah, it just becomes Friend Finder. I don't really care. That's just kind of insane. What about this item? Uh, Money Goes Power would have been nice, but this is also just as good. And you sleep in your bed and... Dude, this is kind of insane. This run took a very interesting turn. I think that Dogma... Wow, that was an amazing Lost Soul spawn there. I think that Dogma stands, like, quite literally... Hold on. Zero chance here. Go back and forth fast and you're fine. If we just sit here and go as hard as we can... You start, like, doing nothing. We should have no chance of losing, even with the extra life. We probably won't even need to use that. Like, look at how much the TV is already done. That's the hardest part of this boss fight. TV is already done. Wait for it. He's frozen. Go in. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Good. Keep being safe. Lovely. And you're dead before you do any other attacks right now, right? Maybe a feather comes out of here? I don't think so, though. I don't freaking think so, dude. All right. I might go a little bit gamer focus on the beast fight, but I, I don't think we'll need to. I really don't think that we're going to need to. You pop that. You pop this. And you charge up. Here comes famine. Oh, we do a lot of damage. And you have bombs you can use to do your pyromaniacs. Okay, be careful there. Is Lost Soul back? Now, Lost Soul is permanently dead forever. Wow. We, yeah, we, we just do, like, more than I thought we'd do for damage. I'll be real with you. Down. Now you can go in and just kill. You got one last tear off. Are you freaking me? I mean, with with five separate. Look look at this like this V formation of attack we got going on right now. Hold on. The bombs just get shot across the room no matter what we do. We are not allowed to bomb this man. Well, bomb beast, not not pestilence, I guess. We push the flies right into the fire. Wonderful. There we go. Dude, we, we have nothing to worry about here. Absolutely nothing. Now, how fast can we kill war is the question. Going good. Almost down to half already. Or Pyromaniac, don't worry about that. Now push him down. Oh, he's going too fast for me. I, can't, I have no force against him. We're immune to fire, I believe. Yep. It's just that easy. That man stood zero chance. We get a prayer card charge there. Lovely. And... Holy shit, you took so much damage there. The only bad thing about having relations right now is that while we're charging up, we can't be shooting. So it's better to just not use Rev than to try to like wait to shoot it and not use our sword at all. 
But now we want to charge up what we have the time to, and... Just that simple. It's just that simple. Well, after this run, we only have one more Mastema run to do. Then Mastema is all, 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 he's done. He's done like, like Andromeda is, like Job and Tana and Job are, like Tana and Andromeda is. He's just done. Dude, we do so much damage. I'm mashing so hard right now, but it's, it's so fun to just destroy. Now you want to do a quick charge off here. You can finally actually use Rev to deal some auxiliary damage while you're all the way over here. Good. Oh, Garden Angel, suck that fire in, baby! Get up there. That hit me? Oh, come on, dude. Can we go above you? Oh, we can go above you. It's kind of an interesting strategy, isn't it? Just, like, hit the stalagmites and then just stand above them and do a bunch of damage. We unlocked Blood Splosion, and we've also beaten Beast. If you enjoyed that run and my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out, and goodbye.